Okay, so the weirdest thing has happened in the past 24 hours. A pro player by the name of Reptile playing for Fnatic was cancelled in just 24 hours. And it was all because of a prank orchestrated by his friend. Excuse me, what's your name? Mary. Mary, nice to meet you. Fuck you. You just got pranked, bro. So if you don't know who Reptile is, he's an incredibly dedicated and wholesome player. He has been creating guides and providing educational content mainly on Twitter, which has received a lot of positive feedback and as well as social media growth for that guy. I mean, this guy has even carried me multiple times and I even stole some of his LP for my Grandmaster push. Nevertheless, Reptile is not a bad guy. Sure, some people might say he was an autistic kid two years ago, being a bit obnoxious, but he's young, he has been growing and he has matured a lot in the past couple of years. He is a normal guy who is trying to make it big, minding his own business. However, as the snowflake the esports community in League of Legends is, they found the tiniest minuscule thing to cancel him over. So Reptile was logging onto an account that had a certain Draven skin, but in the process he logged into an account with the name Austrian Painter 199. I want an account where I have a Draven skin on. Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit. That's the wrong account. Ah, hell nah. Too old for this shit. Jesus fucking Christ, he just committed the gravest sins of them all. I mean, we know how the League community is, making jokes about that painter on the daily, so surely naming after him on your League account is not that bad? I mean, it's at least better than those e-dating duo bot laners named for him and for her. Anyways, this Twitter cop got very, very upset over it and posted about him online, and the accompanying clip which garnered a lot of attention. A couple of hours later, Fnatic would proceed to come out with this lovely statement. Reptile ceases to be a part of Fnatic TQ. Today's event on this stream demonstrate that he doesn't represent at all the values of both Team Quesco and Fnatic, and he doesn't meet the criteria of exemplarity that anyone who is on part of either of the two entities must show at all times, both within and outside of the competition. For this reason, we have proceeded to terminate his contract. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Wait, what is this? Reptile says, they didn't talk to me at all. Then they show the statement at 8pm without a warning. That's the reason it took me 5 hours to respond. Which is why some people has called it out to be suspicious. Here are a few screenshots with this agent and management. Mr. Dardo states, Hey guys, putting this group together so we're all on the same page. Oh boy. While I understand what Reptile has communicated to us, giving his side of the story about what happened, reality is that it's his responsibility to make sure he's not involved in something like this. He should not be sharing accounts even if he would be right and he was not the person changing the nickname something we can't check or prove the responsibility aspect remains this behavior goes completely against our values and that we try to represent in the community both in and out of the game and therefore we have taken the decision to terminate the contract immediately <laughs> Wait, so Fnatic tells him to wait until they make a decision and then they tell him directly that Hey, you're fucking fired bro, sorry <laughs> And I'm sure that Fnatic, an organization with close ties to Riot, cannot directly prove Reptile's arguments by consulting with Riot For sure they cannot do that Oh wait, what is- <laughs> wait, we got another tweet here Havolt, who is known for exposing exploits in the Riot client, said that there's a way to prove it, that anyone can do it basically Even Reptile himself, just request your data using the Riot game support center takes 30 days max this data contains info on who logged in ip at which time and from where <laughs> oh shit fladik i guess you can't fucking prove it we're not gutless we're incompetent that right I don't think I like your tone, Captain. Do you wanna know what the best part is? His fucking friend came out quickly admitting that he changed the name of the account as a part of a joke. And namely the name of the account, Austrian Painter 1999 was a part of this Tarsane Kobe pasta, which is, you know, pretty much how Tarsane streams go anyway. How is this guy on my fucking team every game? New account! He's level 300. He's just like the shittiest fucking player I have ever seen. He randomly decides, today's the day, I'm gonna play my placements. He's queuing Phil doing this shit. Now Fnatic and the League community were of course being completely oblivious to this meme. Sure, it might not have been a post that people have seen before, but let's see what Mr. Reptile has to say about this chicanery. Addressing the situation. I made a big mistake sharing the account with a friend. Oh yeah, buddy, remember the right summoner contract you signed when you started playing League? Account sharing is strictly illegal. This honestly must have been the true reason why he got terminated from Fnatic. Honestly, who gives a shit, man? Nobody. As shown here, and I am very sorry to my teammates, Fnatic, and all fans, as you all don't have to be left without an ADC for the rest of the split. While I'm taking 
taking full responsibility in sharing the account. This was around half a year ago where the name change also happened. My values were always with sharing my knowledge and trying to help everyone around the world. I'm sure everyone who is close to me would agree with this. I didn't mean to cause any harm, I was fully unaware of the account being named like this. Listen, account sharing might not be that bad. I mean, the worst thing that happens is that your account gets banned, you get a fine by your org or whatever, and it gets pulled under the rug. Unless, you know, something extremely nefarious is happening on the account, which I can't really imagine what that would be though. It is obviously an unacceptable name, which explains why I logged in on stream as I didn't realize the name change. I even mentioned that I wanted a Draven skin in the clip as the person I shared the account with is a Draven player. Ah, of course, this explains everything. A Draven player. Dude, never mind that. The guy was fucking unaware of the account being named like this. And his reaction seemed genuine. And he is still punished this harshly for something that was kinda out of his control? If he was unaware, how could he prevent this? I mean, surely just stop account sharing. But come on guys, we can't be that dogmatic. And like, he is being terminated immediately by Fnatic. Surely Fnatic has something against this guy. Maybe they just found an opportunity to just finally cut off the guy. I mean, they're not doing well in the split. Like, couldn't they just have, you know, suspended him? Or they could have perhaps given him a fine? I mean, the guy just got pranked and was legit, you know, account sharing. That's the legitimate thing that you can criticize him for. But even everybody does that. Like, who doesn't account share? I'm not saying I am, obviously, but somebody is, right? You call it bullshit. I hope this clears up the situation a bit. Once again, I'm terribly at fault and I have to accept the consequences. Thank you all for reading and I hope the people I hurt will be able to forgive me. I forgive you, Reptile. What happened to you is undeserved, but you think I'm finished? There's fucking more and there's some very ugly individuals that needs to be called out. First of all, let's talk about where it all started. The Twitter cop Hanabi. Just look at the way she types the tweets. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Smiley face. Apparently, she has a history of trying to cancel pro players for the stupidest shit. No way did Janko say you have to be truly desperate to find something positive in a friendship with an attractive girl like hello? Be more sexist please. <laughs> How dare you have an opinion on being friends on Jankos? You sexist. Seriously? You know what Hanavi? How dare you trivialize and encourage sexism by saying that Janko should be more sexist? Look, it's unfair to use this one quote to make assumptions about Janko's intentions or views on women. Guys, if you're stuck in the friend zone with an attractive woman, just keep going for it. There's a chance you might not be used by her for entertainment. Are you doing anything next weekend? Um, not with you. Ooh. I wasn't asking, I was just I was just curious about your life generally. Oh, okay. That's very presumptuous to think that I would go for a girl like you. Well, uh, it's a bit, no, I... Posts a tweet for exposing a pro player over a mistake, gets a lot of attention. Pro player loses his job over nothing. Person goes private. <laughs> like, you can't make this shit up, guys. This is what being chronically online looks like. But as always, she is the victim here. She's just standing up for what she believes in, ruining people's careers over nothing. LOL Pros, believe it or not, this fucking website had a hand in escalating the situation. And if you don't know what LOL Pros is, it is a very convenient website that lists all high elo players and pro players in the Europe West League of Legends server. To get yourself listed on that website or edit your existed listing, you have to ask an admin. Only admins can do that, and guess what would happen if you went onto Reptile's listing on LOL Pros? Ah, his Austrian Painter account that his friends pranked him with is listed here. How fucking repulsive of a person do you have to be to do this? Can you can you imagine this? One of the admins of LOLPROS just casually sees the dramas and the first thought he has in his mind, ah, oh, let me add this Austrian Painter 199 account to his LOLPROS. What a bunch of bullies. I mean, if you ask LOLPROS to remove an account that got hacked and that someone is actively inting on, sorry, we can't be bothered with that. However, when someone has an account named Austrian Painter 199, yo, yo, add him, add him right now, get that shit on, boys. LOLPROS needs to answer for this. It's just disgusting behavior that they escalate the situation by doing this. It wasn't even reptile fault that the name change occurred in the first place, let alone that he gets a joke put on him by his friend. And then Fnatic, who has a long-standing history of removing people on their roster for anything. I mean, I get it's your brand and everything, but you would imagine an esports account as ballsy as Fnatic wouldn't be so sensitive to petty drama. There's ways to deal with situations like this. You can find a player, you can suspend a player, and you can be as harsh as just terminate players immediately. Fnatic fires strategic coach Vega 
Twitter v2 over inappropriate comments towards minors. Esport organization Fnatic has made a swift adjustment to their League of Legends staff. Strategic coach Vegar v2 has been dropped from the team after several messages surfaced showing, as Fnatic states, extremely concerning messages. Ah, okay, turns out Vegar v2 made inappropriate comments to minors while being a minor. And even worse, at the time of writing of that article, that happened over three years ago. It's not even that bad, he's just obviously being a really obnoxious shit kid. Hi, sexy. <laughs> no joke, you're really sexy, do you wanna suck my sausage? Hey, want to fuck? This is the type of screenshots you see on r slash tinder where people come and double your wrist. But anyway, so you're telling me, you can get cancelled for being a shit kid during your childhood years? Fnatic, who hired Vagar V2 as a full-time analyst at the start of the year, didn't need long to think. Just hours later, the organization released a statement on Twitter and dropped him. Oh shit, even Vagar V2 commented on the reptile drama, saying that it seems familiar to the tweet where reptile says he got jack shit communication from the management of Fnatic. I mean, well played Fnatic, you just dropped the coach that helped you guys get second place in playoffs of that split. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. I mean, I just can't get over the fact that Fnatic punished Reptile for the actions of others. All he did was account share. Now, I bet there's a mass majority of pro players that already do this. Ah, it seems like LS already confirms that in a tweet. Snakes. League is full of them, and there's no shortage on people catching a ride on social media personalities that are experiencing growth, only to quickly turn 180 degrees on that same personality when he's ousted for something petty as this. Sad to see that Reptile gets kicked out instantly, but since it happened, here's a way to prove your innocence. Earlier today, Havelt writes, Add everyone, share this so this player gets kicked out of esports. I mean, poor guy, Reptile. Can you imagine what it feels like? Having his apology being scrutinized by everyone? It's not easy to write an apology, especially if you have no experience or knowledge of doing it. People on Reddit are analyzing the activity on the account like they're Sherlock Holmes or something. Proof of thought. Reptile legit said on stream that he has an account with a certain Draven skin. He proceeds to log onto that account and then instantly realizes his mistake, exiting out of the client and saying, oh shit, that's the wrong account. Ah, oh, hell nah. You think a pro player would know willingly have an account like this associated with you? I mean, there's a very simple term for this. It's called career suicide. Even so, why the fuck would he log into an account that has that name if he knew he was logging into that specific account? Oh yeah, I'll just showcase my Austrian Painter 199 account to everyone. Surely that's a good idea. Bro... <laughs> Bro had no idea, but don't worry, Reddit is also psychoanalyzing his behavior. Oh no, that is the wrong account, it's not the reaction one would get. When logging into a shared account that got name changed like that, one would expect something like, what the fuck is that name, lol. It's mind boggling how many of you feel so sure of yourselves reading into someone's body language. The other thread is filled with you weirdos. I imagine seeing the account name could warrant a response like that without being an admittance of guilt, but you guys can't appreciate the possibility it could be anything but guilt. Nah, it's just weird. If you log into an account with a name and you haven't never seen it, you would be like, what the fuck? Why is this called that? You wouldn't just quickly try to leave and pretend it didn't happen, Lemayo. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. Here's some more Twitter systems worth to take a look at. I just don't get all this hate in the comments when 90% of y'all are going to queue up to a game to tell someone to get cancer, rope yourself, unalive yourself in game, or whatever inhuman thing that comes to mind, but you need to come here and give some hate on an already bad situation. That's the funniest part. And let's not mention the fact that pro players do the same shit in solo queue. Permatyping, disgusting behavior in game, and flaming. This shit happened to me while I was playing in Purple Hell in Masters EOS, and it's even happening in Grandmaster. Ego is everywhere and flaming is also following with that. And there's no repercussion to this. Why? Because no one fucking cares. Damn, the best lie you could come up with was to say you broke TOS? You don't act surprised at all when you saw the name and closed the client way too fast for a genuine reaction. You definitely realized you loaded the wrong account or remembered the username while it was loading. Watch out, we got a psychoanalyst here. But Sally, the psychoanalyst is wrong. Actually, the correct way to react here is to post a clip of yourself logging into account and then you just write guys I just got fucking pranked trust me whoa sorry oh yo I just got pranked my guy justifies by saying all he did was account sharing which is literally illegal as well XT oh dear you would think that people could read in 2023 how can you miss that he did mention the name change miss the fact that he takes accountability and also miss out on him clarifying the situation you in full return man now lastly let's talk about the esports community in League of Legends now I am not saying that everyone is like this but you guys are a bunch of fucking snowflakes I've seen so much drama for the tiniest shit ever 
and people are scouring to find anything to cancel people on, just like this Hanabi person. Just read the tweet of the Twitter cop, or let's talk about the G2 controversy with Carlos. Bro was celebrating with his friends and you could see a glimpse of Andrew Tate for like 1-2 to two seconds and people went fucking wild, accusing him of being a misogynist and all that. Th this is the same guy by the way, who invests in female teams for Valorant and League of Legends, and he gets accused of sexism. Great logic here. All in all, Reptile, if you're watching this video, I am so sorry this happened to you. There's truly some sick individuals out there. I hope people will give you a chance to continue your pro career. It's not easy to deal with cancel culture, let alone to respond to it correctly. I mean, like, who even teaches you these things in life? Reptile has said he will be taking additional steps. I will be taking veteran EU's advice and stream tomorrow. Donations plus my salary will go to charity related with genocide. Bro, you are <laughs> Okay, I mean, I mean, all I can say at this point is hashtag justice for reptile. Craziest 24 hours I've ever seen so far in the community. Leave a sub if you enjoyed the video and leave a comment. I actually read those. If you didn't like the video, I thank you for listening.